Welcome to a daily vlog. I am at Walmart. <laughs> I need to get some um, paper towels and some other stuff, but maybe some paper towels. I just dropped Macy off at school, so I just ran here real quick. They have a bunch of Valentine's Day stuff. Oh my gosh, like guys, who buys these? Like they're so huge, like what the heck? And then they have a nerd to have a Hershey's on, ew. I just need to get some paper towels and some French vanilla syrup. Oh, and some coffee. Coffee. Oh, um, what else do I need? Uh, some lettuce. Not lettuce. I need some like. I need some green mix or some spinach. I need that. So I need to get that. I'm never hungry when I first wake up. But then when I start moving around, I am like starving. I really want an almond cookie sugar latte. So I think I'm gonna have Starbucks after this because I'm, I really want one. Like, I think I'm gonna get one. Yep, we're gonna go to Starbucks. <laughs> I just need to finish up grocery shop. All right, guys, I just ordered my I just ordered my Starbucks. It's eleven o'clock. I was supposed to get up and do some yoga this morning. I actually saved a few videos of yoga on my YouTube channel. Um, I saved it for later so that I can like practice it today. But I have a meeting at twelve, so I'm I doubt I'm gonna be able to like you know what I mean like get my yoga in. Hopefully, I will though. Maybe. Hold on. Good. How are you doing? I use my points, please. I got my croissant. Look at my bleach stain sweater. I know I said I got rid of all of my bleach clothes, but this one I had to keep. Cause I absolutely love this sweater. Uh, thank you so much. You too. Thank you. All right, guys. We got the Starbucks, and y'all know what I got, right? Y'all know what I got. Yeah, know I got my sugar cookie almond latte. I'm so excited. All right, guys. I'm home. I'm just putting the dishes up in the dishwasher. We forgot to run the dishwasher last night, so. We ran it this morning and then now I'm just emptying it because I hate dishes in my sink all night. I hate having dishes in the sink during the day, like all day. I just think, I don't know, I just don't like that. So I always have my dishwasher empty so that instead of putting your dishes in the sink, you just put them directly into the dishwasher. But it's about 11.40. I have to hurry up because I have a meeting at 12 that I need to go attend. You guys, look, this is funny. You see this, right? Bam, but look at this. <laughs> I basically have like this all white um, cabinet. Everything else is a mess in all the other cabinets. They're not as pretty as this one. And I've been meaning to get like more dinnerware, but I also had that in my wedding registry, so I'm not gonna get it now. Um, I did have a subscriber asking about our wedding registry and it is linked below. I have a couple, I have Crate and Barrel, I have Target, and I'm gonna do an Amazon one or I'm gonna do West Elm or something like that. So, but I'm gonna like sweep up with floor real quick and then mop a little bit and yeah that's like my i always clean in the morning and at night because in the morning time there's always a mess like the kids make breakfast babe makes his like shakes before um he goes to the gym there's always like jelly or something random on our floor in the morning time i'm just like oh, why now i have to work twice as hard you guys twice as hard i have a steam mop but i love using like my little swiffer mop because it just is small like i don't have to keep filling it up with water like it's just it's just easier it's more convenient all right guys so i'm currently in my office <sighs> Hi, I'm sorry, it's Brittany. What I wanna do like this year is my goal is to get like some of the bigger sponsorships. Um, not to say the companies that I worked with before were small, but they weren't as big as I would like them this for this year for myself. Got it, got it, got it. Um, okay, so questions for you. I have my YouTube channel on pretty much lock. I have a, I've been posting for a straight year, three to two videos a week on a set wow. schedule at the same time. So I'm used to YouTube, but like Instagram, it's kind of like- This is a prime example, guys, of me not um, being super ready in the morning time. And like, we just doing what, excuse me, doing what I gotta do because I am um, running out of time or whatever. I knew I had a meeting at 12 and I kind of ran over my time because I went grocery shopping and then I stopped at Starbucks. So it took a little time from my morning, but you guys, this is just to prove that I don't have a set daily routine. Sometimes I can stick to certain things. 
sometimes I can't like it's just what it is so I'm looking crusty and busty that's because I didn't take a shower yet so you guys heard a little conversation of my meeting today and it was just a phone chat meeting and basically I think I've said this before but I am seeking out a social media like manager type person I have been consistently putting out two to three videos on my youtube channel for an entire year that is extremely big to me um that is pure dedication to me because it is not easy putting out one video a week so i have really taken advantage of me going full time with this influencer thing and being on youtube and now i'm at the point where i want to bring someone else on i said i wasn't gonna bring someone else on until i hit 10k i said that but if you check my YouTube, I'm almost there, y'all. I'm almost at 10K, so why not start now? When I look at these big top influencers, most of them have multiple people working on their team. It's not just one person. You know, there are people that does the makeup. They have people that do the photos and photography, and they have an actual manager to manage, like, all of the partnerships and sponsorships, so... I might just have to seek out one other person to take my pictures. This is my tripod that I use for my phone. So my phone just sits in here like this. And it does come with a remote, which is right here. You hook this up on Bluetooth. You don't need Wi-Fi. It's strictly Bluetooth. You hook this up through Bluetooth and you can start taking pictures. Just click, 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 click. <laughs> pictures and videos. If you want to take a video, you hold it down. If you just want to take a picture, you just press this um, camera button right here. You just click, click, click. Again, this is the iPhone 13. I highly suggest you get an iPhone 13. Cinematic mode changes your life. If you don't have like a big DSLR camera, you're going to need like a iPhone cinematic camera that has that cinematic mode. But I do have some work to do on my laptop soon. So I'm going to take a shower. Stop looking crusty. Do something with my hair. Take a shower and then come back and I'll show you guys all the work that we need to do today. All right guys, I have showered and groomed myself and pulled my hair in a ponytail because I am about to do my hair soon. So it just doesn't make any sense to like keep flat ironing it. I'm just gonna rock this headband in low ponytail for the next couple days. Okay, that's what you gotta do. I need to charge my phone. Now I am about to go through my email because I have a couple emails that I need to respond to. Which is why I would like a social media manager because they could be doing this while I'm like doing something else. Also, I'm going to create a email address that's separate from my personal email address, which I should have been done, but I want my social media manager to do that for me. I can do that myself, I just don't want to. So yeah, I need to have someone change over my email address so that I can have just all sponsorships and everything else into one package basically one email and i also want to update my social media kit i showed you guys my social media kit what it looks like but i have old pictures on there and i just want to like dust it up and um put like new pictures on there so that's why it's always good to have a social media kit that's editable because I have my PDF that I could just go in there and change whatever I want at any time I want. So I need to do that. I don't I don't know how many emails I have, but 94% of my email is full and that's a problem because 26,000 emails. Y'all see that? I have 26,000 emails, you guys, that I need to just get rid of. That's why I want a separate email because searching through my email for sponsorships that have uh, contacted me it's just if I don't contact them right away it's so annoying trying to look for them because I can't find them so but having to respond type the email get it back to them in a timely manner and then also do the work of filming editing it's just too much I want to talk about reels really quickly because I have um, been searching high and low on how to create um, very aesthetically pleasing fonts on my real videos. You guys know I film my real videos in a couple of ways. I use my Canon 90D, which is this camera right here, and I have it facing this way so that I can get that 
um, vertical angle or I use my iPhone 13 in a cinematic mode. I don't know if you guys have seen it but there are people who use like different font on their real videos that looks so dope it just makes it look so much better. But I do want to shout out my girl for telling me about this trend and you can see her youtube channel right here so make sure y'all subscribe to her she did go ahead and dm me a tutorial on how to do this so shout out to her i'm gonna go ahead and screen record so the first thing you want to do is open up your canva now you do have to have canva pro in order to do this trick you do have to have canva pro canva pro is about 12.99 a month so just keep that in mind i don't know a way to do this without having to have Canva Pro, but just to let you know, you do have to have Canva Pro. So you go to Instagram posts, you choose blank, and then you want to scroll over on the bottom and hit text. I'm just gonna hit the first text that I see, which is the one that I have been using. It's called Real Love, and it's a free text. So you wanna use that. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this area and put vlog. I'm going to space it out. I like spacing my letters out to make it look more aesthetically pleasing. And then in the other one, I'm going to just put text tutorial. So I'm going to put, um, I'm going to move, let's see. I'm going to kind of like make it big like that. And that's it and if you want to add the line I'm gonna just go ahead and add another text and add a sub headline which for this all I'm gonna do is use my underscore right here and just do that oops just keep pressing it like that Okay, and then you can move this up here if you want and then you want to probably make it a little bit longer I'm gonna make and then we'll just make the text. Um... All right, so yeah, that's just what we're gonna do for right now. Um, we're gonna move this, I'm gonna move this up a little bit more. Okay, yeah, so that's how I want it to look basically. Now I'm gonna highlight the whole thing, hit the color, hit white, also white, also white. So it looks like you have nothing there. It looks like a blank screen okay but that's very important you want to make sure it's white so you're gonna hit the arrow right here on the top right hand screen and you're gonna download this is where it's important and this is where only pro kicks in you want to hit transparent background you want to make sure you hit transparent background okay download your image it's downloading boom 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 and that's it. I don't want to share it with anybody. I just want to have my whole design saved. So that is saved. We're going to go into our Instagram. Okay. We're going to go into Instagram and you're going to pull up your story. And then you're going to insert, you're going to hit the square smiley face. And then you're going to go to your pictures. You're going to hit the artwork that you just did. And then, all right. So now that you added your text onto your video, you can save it right here. You're going to go ahead and hit the plus sign and hit the reel and just upload what you just did. That way it's already done. So that's one way you can add like aesthetically pleasing text to your vlogs basically or your real vlogs because I was trying to figure that out and I couldn't. There are other video apps that you can use instead of like putting everything in your story but for me I already know how to use Instagram pretty well so I just record all of my videos in my stories and then save them and then add them to um, my real video so that it can be all one video if that makes sense. <laughs> You can also edit an iMovie as well if you have the iMovie app on your phone, which everyone should because that's what your iPhone comes with. You can edit your videos in iMovie and add the text there just like you would on your laptop or iMac or whatever. So that's just a little trick. That's just how you see everybody come in with the whole aesthetically pleasing vlogs. Like I just be like, Ugh. So I have like a whole, I don't know if y'all can see, I have a whole bunch of videos that I, <laughs> not the shoes that I wanted, but I have like a whole bunch of videos from this morning that I'm gonna compile into one real video and then I will add the text onto that once I'm done doing all of my edits. All right guys, it's a little later, but I don't know if you guys seen 
my candle. This is the fresh linen sea salt candle from Threshold I got from Target. And then these are the like baby breaths, like cuspers. I don't know what they are, <laughs> but they look like baby breaths to me. So that's what I'm gonna call them. They're like the dried flowers from Hobby Lobby. I know you guys probably seen this, but I just wanna show it again because I don't know like if y'all really seen it. <laughs> so I have these right here, these green florals. I love how they look in like the daytime really cute the vase is also from target that's from um hearth and hand and then i have this wooden i have this wooden um plank thing from my mother-in-law she actually purchased this for me for christmas and i just have my um joanna Gaines book on top i have some more baby breaths right here the front is cleared out if you see my last vlog you know the front is cleared out I have to put this away actually. This is um, extra Christmas tree bags that I have to send back to Amazon because I do not need them. I actually purchased way too many. I have three extra Christmas bags, so I need to like, or is it two? I'm sorry, I have two extra bags that I need to go back and get my refill in because listen, I don't need them. Yeah, it's actually, I'm like really cold, so I put on my sweater, but um, I'm about to go get Macy from school. I don't have any other work to do. I actually answered um, all my questions for my wedding planner. You guys, staying at a wedding is like a lot. Like it's like so much detail and like so much, but I'm very vocal and I'm actually telling our wedding planner like what we want and what we don't want, what we can afford, what we don't want to splurge on. Like, so I know a lot of people like probably plan their own wedding or, you know, they didn't have, um, they wish they could just invite fewer people but i know i didn't do a how we met video which i plan on doing soon but you guys let me tell y'all something real quick i have been with my fiance for 10 years probably over 10 years i've known him for 12 and when i tell you we deserve a full-blown wedding all the way down to the icing on the cake we gonna get it <laughs> we gonna get it ain't no ain't no like um little courthouse thing no I don't mind that. I'm not, you know, no shade to those people who just went to the courthouse. Baby, we deserve it. We deserve a full wedding. I'm sorry. We deserve a planner. We deserve a banging wedding, okay? Because let me tell you, everybody in our family has, like, seen us do the good, bad, and ugly. Everybody has seen us up. They've seen us down. They've seen us, like, not so good. They've seen us have kids. They've seen us break up. They've seen us make up. They've seen everything. So, like, a wedding is finally, like, the, like, the... Y'all deserve this. Finally, like, yes, like this is finally happening. Like, oh my God, it's finally happening. Like they're finally getting married. So it wasn't gonna be no small little thing from the get go because there's too many people in our family that have witnessed us go through so much and it's only right to have a wedding. That's just how I am. Plus our wedding party is not really small. We have eight bridesmaids and eight groomsmen. Plus we have three flower girls and like, it's just a big wedding. Our guest list is ranging from 215 to 250. And our wedding party is like day ones. Like people who we've known for a long time, people who know us mutually for a long time. So we couldn't really have a small wedding if we wanted to. Like, we really couldn't. Like, it's just too many people involved. I'm about to go get Macy, and then I'll be back probably to end the vlog because I'm pretty much done with my work for the day. All right, I'm back home. I have Macy now, as y'all can tell. It's just one thing I know, you guys, just a disclaimer. Once Macy gets home, the house is loud. <laughs> like, the house is loud. The kids are here. It's just like a mad house as soon as like 4 30 hits because the kids are home and everything's loud so i really need this social media manager because it just feels like the day went by so fast like i literally feel like i had like two three hours and that's it but it's like so much that goes on in the day and i don't know sometimes i don't like to complain because most people can say like girl what are you complaining for like your bills are paid you live in a nice house you're about to get married like you know just people like nitpick stuff so i don't like to complain but it is like a struggle no matter how much money you make or what goes on being a mom period is just a, a can, it can be a struggle and not only that when you're like a full-time stay-at-home mom that is a job in itself and i love seeing like tiktok videos about stay-at-home moms where it's just like you don't do anything and it's just like 
what? I don't do anything? Come do my job then. Come do my job and see if I don't do anything. Like, please. But you guys have to remember, even though I may have some struggles now, I don't regret being a stay-at-home mom and working on my career. I'd rather this than, um, I'd rather do this than me at work being like very tired, not working towards my dreams really, just working, 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 working. Like that wasn't fulfilling either. So when it's like, you know, you pick your battles, like, you know, like, do you want to be stay at home mom, like a little stressed out, tired, but working towards your dreams or be at work stressed, tired, but you're like not at home, you get a break. I don't know. Pick your struggle. I'm actually, it's about to be six o'clock and I'm actually making dinner right now. Um, today's Tuesday, so I'm doing like fajita Tuesday. That's another thing, you guys, like, I, it's cool for the moms who like super, go super hard in the kitchen and make these wonderful meals every day. That's not me. Um, I'm gonna make whatever I feel like making and my kids are gonna eat it because nine times out of 10, whatever I make, they enjoy and that's all that matters. Like, I don't, I don't understand why people judge people so much I don't have time for that like I don't even know I, it's like I don't even have the time to think about my own stuff I don't know how other people have time to judge and comment on other people's life like I don't even have time to do that like how do y'all find time like what, what's going on like I wish I cared that much more people <laughs> I don't <laughs> I wish I cared like girl do your thing do whatever you gotta do ain't got nothing to do with me and that's just how I that's just truly how I am so I fully support people or women specifically who are making meals that are easy, fast, but still enjoyable for their kids. If you're a type of mom who likes to like make these big Thanksgiving meals every day, then that's cool too. But sometimes like it's all that it as long as my kids enjoy it, that's all that matters. Literally. So I'm making fajitas and I have white rice on the side um, for them and I have the little I'm about to warm these little flower shells for them in the oven because I think they taste way better when they're warm and yeah that's for dinner that's like some I'm making my own like cilantro lime rice and then I have the fajitas on the side for them to eat and they have plenty of fruit we have our fruit basket right there we have more fruit in the fridge so they can grab something to go with it and I also have salad I have some green mix in the fridge as well that they can have on the side so that's dinner I'm done I'm I'm about to end I'm about to end this vlog because around like six seven o'clock it's like wind down time and I'm about to that's the time that I take to like kind of like spend with Macy and like just be mellowed out I don't have any work to do I just kind of like you know ease into nighttime routine which is like bath and make sure baths and chores are done and all that so I'm about to end the vlog my battery's about to die anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully I helped you guys with some content creating and some ideas for yourself. If you did enjoy my vlog and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you'll be alerted whenever I post a new video. I will see you guys soon in my next vlog. Bye.